Hello, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Uh, today we're doing a shaky cam interior review of the 2015 Audi All Road. Uh, this is a wonderful station wagon. Um, hits all the marks really well. Uh, it's not, uh, I wouldn't call it a sport wagon. I wouldn't say it's fast or anything. It's a turbocharged four. Uh, but you don't need it in a car like this. This, this car is, uh, is more about uh, uh, luxury and family hauling and feeling good on the highway. Um, and it does all those things for sure. So uh, let's get started because uh, we haven't done an Audi before. So uh, there's uh, there's a fair amount of stuff to cover. You can see here there's memory settings for seating. Here's your windows and uh, uh, the locks. And then here is the um, here's the uh, side mirror. Here's the door locks. Here's the fuel port down there. Excuse me, down there. Um, going this way. Here's your uh, uh, headlights. Um, and your dimmer switch and fog lights then uh, coming back up the steering wheel this is going to be a little more complicated than usual because there are a couple of things here um, and a couple of things that I'm missing that I wish were here so over here you have your uh, mode and and uh, moving through the menus that goes through that screen there over here you have the uh, 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 Kind of the telematics well and i don't really think it's telematics that's what's missing on the key on the thing here there's no way to control your phone uh but here you have your nav and your and your speakers and your uh uh voice recognition stuff then down here this is the cruise control dongle so um it works a little differently uh you can see the you can see the uh settings here so when you want to set the cruise you just cr hit it uh, as long as it is on and you turn it on and off moving it back and forth like this so uh, You set it then you can cancel it with just a bump you can push it all the way back to turn it off uh, You go speed up and down by moving it up and down and you resume by pulling it forward um, Pretty intuitive you get used to it and uh, you do have to get used to it being on the left hand instead of the right hand side um, I suspect that's kind of a layover from uh, Europe um, uh, and that's why it's on the left side instead of the right uh, because the steering wheel would normally be over there um, I don't know but it seems that way because I can't think of another reason why it's over here my problem is is that it's right where my hand is hitting when I'm trying to you know when I grab the steering wheel I hit this uh, because I have fairly large hands um, it's not a huge deal but it is a deal Coming up here, here's your lighting uh, blinker, so forth. Over here, here's your wiper controls. Uh, um, a little bit complicated, but not really. Uh, up and down for there, and it's backwards from the way we're used to. Uh, so you don't go down for faster, you go up for faster. And then back and forth controls the back window. Uh, and then this little switch is supposed to do something, but I never get it to do anything, so it probably doesn't do anything. <laughs> not that I can tell. All right, looking at the instruments. Uh, engine heat over there, tachometer here. This is the info screen that changes. Uh, you can see uh, at this point I put about 200 miles on it. I still have, uh, that's only in, uh, uh, what, four days. Um, so I've, st I've still got a few miles to put on this car. Over here, uh, speedometer and so forth, and fuel gauge. So uh, my fuel economy has been okay. Uh, not horrible, not great. Um, I, it's what I would expect out of a car this size. It's good fuel economy it's just not great fuel economy um, but they did a really good job now coming over here here's the infotainment screen right now it's showing my uh, phone uh, but you can go through a lot of stuff it has all of the usual things and I'll show you the control knob for that it is not a touch screen uh, which is fine because you have to reach way up there to get to it uh, and then the usual airbags and so forth uh, and then here's your uh, some vents here's some of the audio um, you can see it's mostly just CD player it doesn't there's no controls for much of anything other than that eject button um, and down here is your SD and uh, SIM card slots um, in case you didn't uh, in case you have any reason to, to plug some things in there uh, I put in an uh, uh, SD card and um, uh, had it uh, had it play music off of it. Did a really good job. Um, pretty cool to have that. Um, all right, so traction control. You can see I have the bun warmers on because it is cold outside. Uh, here we have uh, most of the climate. 
let me see if I can get an angle where we can see everything. Most of the climate controls, um, most of this is straightforward. Settings are here and here for the dual climate. Uh, and down here is this, this controls where it is, so you can change that. Uh, here's the defrost, defrost, etc., etc. Uh, nicely done. Uh, pretty easy to use. I use these a lot. I rarely use climate controls that are on that. Now, because it is a European luxury car, it has an actual ashtray and an actual lighter. Uh, kind of a throwback in the U.S. We don't really see those anymore. Now, coming down, here's your uh, shifter, of course, and uh, you push to the right to uh, manually shift. Uh, you'd probably notice there is no paddles. Uh, electronic braking, um, easy to get used to, and we've seen it a million times. Engine start and stop is here. This is annoying. Uh, I would rather it was up there. This is where you can shove your key fob to uh, do the accessories and whatnot. I really wish it, the button was up here somewhere uh, or was forward of this brake uh, because I'm hitting it when I'm when I'm doing the brake and that's a little bit annoying. Um, over here, this is your primary audio control. Um, odd placement. Uh, when you have a drink here, you have to reach around to use it. Uh, this, again, should be over here. Um, and they could have put the parking over here and been just fine. Uh, but to get used to how this works really quickly, uh, back and forth for stations, uh, do this uh, for volume, and then push it to turn it on and off. Very quick to learn how to use this. Uh, I really like this. Down here, this is your controller for that. So here's your big command knob. Uh, you can go around, here's your quick buttons, and you can uh, page through back and forth, twisting, pushing, whatnot. To do stuff up there. There's a bit of a learning curve, but it's not horrible. Um, I got used to it fairly quick, uh, so you know it's it's not a big deal. Um, I'm old and I can do it, so you can do it. <laughs> uh, here's your uh, quick stuff. So you see, you have all these quick buttons. Those are really helpful. And then this is the faux carbon fiber trim that they've got throughout here. Uh, it's kind of a, kind of a tin like carbon fiber. It's really kind of cool. Here you have drink holders. You notice one is smaller than the other. Uh, so you have your, maybe a Starbucks, definitely an 8-ounce water, and then you have your actual drink holder. And these push all the way in, so this is actually pretty big. This is a great spot for your phone. Uh, you can see it's big enough, you set it sideways, uh, whatever. Very, very nice. Um, this does not have a latch. You just pull it open like I just did. And down in there, uh, it's not very deep. This is a tunnel, uh, because this is all-wheel drive, so... Uh, but you see, there's a 12-volt uh, plug and then uh, kind of a felt-lined shove-your-stuff-in-there spot. Um, beautiful leather. Love this leather. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, the back seats are a great size in this car. The cargo area is awesome in this car. And you can see they put the leather up there to kind of offset. Just a great interior look. This also has the panoramic roof. Uh, so if I open that, you can see... We're getting a lot of weather, so you can't see out, but right, you can see how big it is. Um, beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, lovely and fun. And this is a huge sunroof. Opens pretty far back. So, uh, that's about it. There's a handful of other things. Let me show you the control knob. You've seen this in some other vehicles. Um, you turn this in steps here to open that uh, sunroof at various uh, speeds, so it opens, you know, just a, a few inches with each of those steps. These buttons here control that um, that uh, screen that I just moved back, and then you can push this up and pull it down to crack the sunroof. Um, pretty dang cool. Uh, this is the lighting control and whatnot. So, yeah, very, very awesome. I really like this car. Um, it needs, uh, you know, there's a few things that are a little bit annoying, but not nothing that's really horrible. So I really enjoyed this car. Uh, so for Aaron on Autos.com, this has been Aaron in a 2015 Audi All Road. Talk to you again soon.